Bible Story Jesus is Anointed For the last time, the Lord Jesus was going to Jerusalem together with His disciples. He taught them many things while they were walking. Finally, they arrived at the Mount of Olives, and nearby was the village of Bethany. Let us go and see Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, Jesus said. The disciples were happy to go there. In Bethany, they were always welcome. Maybe they could stay there overnight. When Jesus and his disciples arrived in Bethany, a meal was prepared for them. Martha served the food. Her face looked so happy. Jesus had raised their brother and given him back to them. She did not complain anymore. Her love to Jesus made her work seem easy. Later, still other guests dropped in to see Lazarus whom Jesus had called out of the tomb. There he sat at the table alive and happy. He looked at Jesus feeling so thankful to him. But where was Mary? While the guests enjoyed the delicious food which was brought in from the kitchen, Mary went back to her house. She had seen everyone looking so happy at the dinner. But Mary could not forget Jesus' words that he was going to Jerusalem where he would have to suffer and die. Mary's heart was so sad to think about the suffering of Jesus that would begin very soon. She wanted to show her love to Jesus, but how could she do this? Mary owned a bottle of very expensive perfume. The perfume was her biggest treasure. When Mary thought about that bottle, she knew all of a sudden what she would do to show her love to the Lord Jesus. She took her bottle and went back to Simon's house. Without being noticed, Mary slipped into the dining room. Slowly, she approached Jesus and knelt near his feet. She broke the neck of the bottle and poured the perfume on Jesus' feet. The fragrant smell of the perfume filled the whole house because Mary had not used just a few drops of that expensive perfume but had poured it all on Jesus. Then she dried his feet with her hair. Jesus' disciples were amazed at what Mary had done. But Judas spoke up with a harsh voice demanding, Why was that fragrant perfume not sold for a high price and the money given to the poor? Judas' words sounded very good, but his heart was not right. He pretended to think about the poor, but that was not actually why Judas was angry. He was the one who carried the bag in which the offerings for Jesus and his disciples were put. Sometimes Judas stole from the money. He loved money more than he loved his Lord Jesus. Jesus knew that Judas loved money. Jesus also knew that Mary had poured her precious expensive perfume on him because she loved him. Therefore, he said, Judas listened. Why are you scolding Mary? She has done something very beautiful to me. The poor are always around you. You can help them at any time, but I will not be with you forever. Soon, I will leave you. I will be put to death and be buried. With her perfume, Mary has prepared my body to be buried. I tell you, wherever the gospel will be preached, what Mary has done will be told also, so that 
everyone will know how much she loved me. Can we repay the Lord Jesus' love? How can we do it? If we really love the Lord Jesus, we surely can think of something that will please Him. Jesus would be pleased if we love our father, mother, brothers, and sisters. Jesus would be pleased if we forgive friends who are bothering us. Jesus would be pleased if we thank Him for His blessings. Jesus would be pleased if we obey our parents and teachers.